Imagine the deepest darkness and absolute void, a cosmic null. Now what if I told you that scientists have coaxed a glimmer of light from this perfect nothingness? It sounds impossible, but it's real. This is the quantum realm, where emptiness is alive with hidden potential. In this subatomic world, the void is a stage teeming with unseen actors virtual particles waiting for their cue. Scientists have now prompted these actors to produce real, measurable light photons from a simulated vacuum. This discovery challenges our perception of reality and opens a door to a universe far stranger than we imagined. Creating light from a vacuum feels like myth, but it's now a scientific achievement. The universe's truths are often bizarre, forcing us to rethink what's possible. So, how can the void give birth to something as real as light? The answer lies in the quantum vacuum. To understand, we must shrink down to the heart of empty space, where the vacuum is a roiling sea of fleeting existence. Let's take that journey together. We picture a vacuum as empty space, but quantum mechanics tells a different story. Even in a perfect vacuum, there's a baseline hum, zero-point energy. The void is alive like a calm ocean that, up close, teems with tiny fleeting ripples. Virtual particles, pairs of matter and antimatter constantly flicker in and out of existence, borrowing energy from the vacuum. This quantum foam is everywhere, even inside your body. For decades this was just theory but it explains real effects like the lamb shift in atoms. These virtual particles are too quick to see ghosts in the machine of reality. Physicists have long dreamed of grabbing one of these pairs and making them real. The miracle is to give them enough energy to break free from their ghostly state. That's what this new simulation has achieved, turning the virtual into the real. For the first time, we've pulled something tangible out of the quantum foam. The boundary between nothing and something is thinner than we thought. And now, we've crossed it. So, how did scientists pull light from the void? Not with a giant accelerator, but with a quantum simulation a miniature universe built from superconducting circuits. This artificial space-time let them manipulate the simulated vacuum's fabric. The key was to apply a rapidly changing electromagnetic field, as theorized by Julian Schwinger. If strong enough, this field could rip virtual particle pairs apart, turning them into real particles. In reality, such a field is impossible to create, but in their simulation, scientists could tune the laws to make it happen. They applied their oscillating field and suddenly, their sensors detected photons, real light, emerging from simulated nothingness. They had created a storm in a teacup, tearing the virtual from the void. This was the first direct observation of the Schwinger effect, once only a theory. Light squeezed from darkness, in a lab, the impossible, made observable. A new chapter in physics had begun. This isn't just a clever trick, it's a discovery with profound implications. By creating pocket universes we can test theories about the cosmos, black holes and space-time itself. But imagine the potential. Creating matter and energy from the vacuum. The energy produced now is tiny, but the principle is revolutionary. If we could one day tap into the vacuum's zero-point energy, we'd have a limitless clean power source. It could transform our civilization, freeing us from finite resources. The challenges are immense, but the first step has been taken. This breakthrough could also help us understand dark energy, the force accelerating the universe's expansion. By probing the vacuum, we might finally grasp what dark energy is. We now have a new window into the universe's deepest mysteries. Here's how this cosmic recipe works. Picture the quantum vacuum as a still trampoline, with tiny dimples, virtual particles, appearing and vanishing. Scientists rhythmically shook this trampoline with a precisely tuned magnetic field. Like pushing a swing in perfect rhythm, each oscillation added energy to the virtual particles. This process, called parametric resonance, amplified their energy. With each push, the virtual pairs were driven further apart, gaining enough energy to break free. At that moment, they became real. No longer fleeting phantoms but stable particles. In this experiment, the result was photons, real measurable light. The scientists had timed their pushes perfectly, transforming the quantum foam's shimmer into tangible reality. It's a dance of energy and timing, turning nothing into something. The quantum swing set had produced light, and with it, a new way to probe the universe. This discovery doesn't just promise new technology, it changes how we see reality. For millennia we've been passive observers of the cosmos. Now, we're active participants, manipulating the universe's most fundamental components. With quantum simulations we can model scenarios like the Big Bang, perhaps a cosmic-scale Schwinger effect. Reality, it turns out, is fluid. 
The line between virtual and real is a membrane we can cross with the right tools. The universe is a sea of potential and we're learning to sculpt it. This is humbling and awe-inspiring. The cosmos isn't a static collection of objects, but a dynamic process, and we're part of it. We're just beginning to mold the sand on the cosmic beach. The castles we might build are beyond imagination. The universe has revealed a deeper layer of its magic, and it's invited us to become magicians. The adventure is only beginning. Turning this simulation into a real-world vacuum energy generator is a monumental challenge. The conditions created in the lab can't yet be replicated in our universe, but every great leap began as an impossible idea. Human ingenuity has a way of making the impossible routine. The path forward will push quantum computing, material science, and global collaboration. Even if we never build a vacuum engine, the pursuit will spark countless discoveries. The journey is as important as the destination. We've peered into nothingness and found it teeming with light. The vacuum is not an end, but a beginning. Our voyage of discovery is far from over. With this flicker of light, the cosmos invites us onward.